Can you think of any examples of radiation use in our daily lives? You might not have noticed that some fire alarms use radioactive materials to detect smoke, and some types of colorful flowers are bred using radiation. While radiation and radioactivity are close to us, we seldom know what they are, where they can be found, what kind of effects they have on our bodies, and how they contribute to society. Hi, welcome to our course. Effect of radiation, an introduction to radiation and radioactivity. I am Tamotsu Kozaki, professor of faculty of engineering here at Hokkaido University, Japan. I am also an organizer of this course. And I am Naoko Atanabe, an associate professor of faculty of engineering at Hokkaido University. Eight instructors from Hokkaido University will teach this course, covering various areas related to radiation and radioactivity. The course will be taught in four weeks. The first week, we will learn the basics of radiation and radioactivity, including types of radiation and its interactions with matter. The second week will be more practical. We will focus on radiation measurement. And in the third week, we will discuss the biological effect of radiation, which may interest many of you. Then for the final week of this course, you will be introduced to some examples where radiation is actually used in our society and to the environmental radioactivity with an example from Fukushima Prefecture. The course is open to anyone interested in the topics it covers. Although you are likely to learn more deeply if you have basic knowledge of physics and chemistry, of course, those without such knowledge can also enjoy the course. Thank you very much for your interest. I'm very looking forward to seeing you. Enjoy. Right.